Hi Fire Signs, Leo, Aries and Sagittarius, welcome to my channel, my name is Chelsea In this reading we're going to find out who has been manifesting you romantically To book a personal reading with me, all information is in the description box below And today is the 6th of March 2023, time here in Marseille, France is 1.18pm Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for Fire Signs and if you were divinely guided to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same fire sign. All right, now let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for fire signs, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. Who has been manifesting fire signs? Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So this is somebody, for some of you fire signs, maybe this is someone you've already met. If you haven't met this person yet, then it's not going to totally resonate, okay? Ace of Swords. This is somebody very straightforward, very honest. Poss possibly honest to a fault. Yep, and the Death card here. Very willingly cutting people off. Brutally cutting people off, death indicates an ending, so they'll cut people off just like that. And the Wheel of Fortune, they don't have a problem doing that at all whatsoever. Wheel of Fortune also can indicate maybe this person works online or that this person travels a lot. Also, hmm, Wheel of Fortune, this is somebody maybe, you know, it's a very lucky energy, so this person may have. A lot of good luck in their life good things happening to them in their life and sometimes ace of swords you know the the wreath and then the crown here can indicate success so i would say this is somebody quite successful and they don't have any problems again in having a new start new beginning they're constantly doing something new in their life that's what i'm seeing here somebody very straightforward brutally honest, have no problem cutting people off. Maybe the death can indicate this is a changed person. Maybe this person wasn't like this in the past and has possibly changed to becoming better, um, to be becoming more sure of themselves. And then we've got the three of cups. Thanks, baby. <laughs> okay, thank you. Mm-hmm. Bye, baby. Thank you. Merci. <laughs> so, sorry. <laughs> sorry for the interruption. <laughs> uh, my boyfriend just came home. He bought me lunch. Just to show you. <laughs> he just asked me if it was possible for him to kiss me on my cheek. I say yes, because he knows he can see, like, I'm, I'm busy, I'm working right now. <laughs> But anyway, sorry for the interruption. Um, <laughs> where were we? Okay, so the death card here feels like maybe this is somebody who wasn't, who has changed. Yeah, this person has been through a lot, perhaps. One second, I'm gonna cough a little bit. <coughs> sorry about that. Um, and then the Three of Cups here is in our first. We've got the King of Cups, the Queen of Swords. So this person who is trying to manifest you, okay, who has been manifesting you, I think somebody who loves and loves deeply. When they do love, they love deeply. And with the Queen of Swords, again, this is why, oh, this could also be someone you will end up falling in love with, okay, uh, fire signs. It's the King of Cups, again, it's somebody who loves very deeply and it's a masculine energy while well, we have we've got the feminine energy right here the queen of swords so hmm, i somehow feel like it's two different people so this could actually be you king of cups that you would if you're embodying the masculine energy you could possibly be 
you could possibly end up falling in love with this person if you haven't met this person yet but if you've already met this person you may be you may have romantic feelings for this person okay we've got the nine of cups here page of cups in reverse five of swords i would say there's somebody very clever because the swords in the upright position indicates intelligence um somebody who knows um from right to wrong somebody is very logical practical again a very cutting energy fire sign so this is someone who has no qualm in cutting people off telling people off cutting people off telling people off and being completely honest with your thoughts with your feelings and i think this person is also very intelligent because the five of swords can indicate somebody who's very strategic somebody who plans so it could be someone very successful again in their career or successful as a person. Mm -hmm. There's a very cold energy about them here, fire signs. This person will be Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. I think they can be cold if they want to, okay? Because the Queen of Swords is somebody whom has been through a lot. Maybe they have experienced a lot in their life where they now know who to be kind to, who, who to treat well, and who to actually cut off. Or I, I see this person doesn't actually like to be taken advantage of because the Queen of Swords always has her guards up, right? Um, we've got, again, Page of Cups in reverse. Yeah, they don't have tolerance for immaturity, people who are not genuine, and also Nine of Cups, somebody who is too selfish, I think they also have very low tolerance in terms of uh, people who are too indulgent of anything, okay? Uh, any kinds of substances, or it could be alcohol, it could be anything that's being done too much, okay? Like, and it turns toxic. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing here. Let's see more fire signs. So we've got eight of cups, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight of cups, ten of cups. This is someone who doesn't, I think, live in the same country, like their original country. It feels like they've left a place or somebody who leaves a lot, like travel a lot, right? Wheel of Fortune here. And ten of cups, eight of pentacles. So this person actually, I feel like, wants a happily ever after. Um somebody who fantasizes or imagines a very long-lasting connection although they're very intelligent although they're very logical and practical but there is a side of them ten of cups where they feel where they do kind of believe in a fairy tale ending okay happily ever after that's sort of an ending ten of cups also very very um hard working eight of pentacles somebody who over analyzes the things way too much with the eight of swords here yep um somebody who uh, pays a lot of attention to details zero eight zero eight i just saw it's your angel number you can google it there could be some other info messages for you over there i'm gonna pull out more cards here Two swords. I'm laughing because I just thought that was so cute, right? My boyfriend just like came in like he could have just left the food on the table, but he asked, "Can I kiss you on your lips? Uh, not on my lips, on my cheek." <laughs> That's so cute. Okay, but anyway, two swords here. Yeah, see, this is somebody who's like all the swords are in the upright position. They don't listen to BS. They don't listen to anything that doesn't make sense to them or that because they're too logical and they have common sense there's definitely a common sense energy with all the swords in upright position we've got the queen of pentacles in our so this person could be a virgo capcom or a taurus i think this person used to be a queen of pentacles right because now it's in reverse so that means this person has changed this person is trying to manifest you has changed from the queen of pentacles to the queen of swords that means they've been through a lot. 
and there is a death of their past, death of who they used to be in the past. So they are definitely changed person. The reason why they are who they are now, how they are now, it's all because of I think their past. And we've got the Knight of Swords, another sword in an upright position. So you can believe that whatever this person tells you <laughs> is gonna be the truth. Most likely, okay, 99.9%, .9%, whatever this person says to you, most likely is the truth. So this is someone who has no qualm in telling the truth, even if it may sound offensive, it may offend some people. Um, but yeah, again, fire sign, so maybe you've already met this person. If not, this is that one person who is coming into your life. And if that's the case, Ten of Cups can indicate, yeah, there could be a chance for both of you to be in a happily ever after relationship or connection if a lot of work is being put into it with eight of pentacles eight of cups it takes someone leaving a place to to achieve this ten of cups hence i feel like maybe there's someone who lives far away from you or who travels a lot um but definitely not gonna be an easy connection uh it feels like again eight of pentacles it takes a lot of work for this connection to work, okay? Fire signs is your reading, and I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you like the book, me, my information is in the description box below. Um, I'm going to upload... No, what did I say? No, no, no. I was going to say I'll subscribe to both of my channels if you want to. This is Chelsea Love Tarot, which is my original channel. I post every single day and a couple of times a day unless i'm traveling like i didn't i didn't post for four or five days recently because i was traveling and i was sick still am sick but <laughs> anyway um yeah subscribe to this channel if you want to and also chelsea tarot 2.0 is the channel where i only post once a week even though i did say daily but i changed my mind i'm gonna change my mind all the time so deal with it <laughs> um yeah so uh subscribe to my second channel chelsea tarot 2.0 that's the channel that only posts individual sign readings take care fire signs hope to see you back here again later or tomorrow bye